welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine American culture, what's new and old in entertainment. In recent years, Netflix has become a major player in the film industry. They've used festivals as the launching pad for their buzzier titles, like the animal rights movie Okja and Noah Baumbach's The Meyerowitz Stories. Last year, Netflix even made a big splash by acquiring one of Sundance's biggest hits, Mudbound, which was eventually nominated for four Oscars. But now comes the pushback. This year, the Cannes Film Festival announced Netflix films would not be considered for the festival's top prize. Director Steven Spielberg even said he considers Netflix movies to be made for TV and nothing more. And now the battle is on. Shortly after the Cannes announcement, Netflix announced if they weren't going to be considered for the highest honors, they wouldn't bother to bring any movies to the festival at all. Since that announcement, film lovers have been thrown in the middle of the video-on-demand versus theater debate. Does a movie lose merit if it doesn't run in theaters around the country? Is a Netflix release good for consumers since they can watch, say, Will Smith's latest film, Bright, in the comfort of their own homes? Or is it bad because it loses some of that essential community feeling that comes with seeing a smash hit movie like last year's Get Out or this year's A Quiet Place with a packed audience? Right now, opinion seems split. Of course, seeing a movie in a theater can be a transformative experience. The screen is huge, the sound is turned all the way up, and that can mean more immersion in the spectacle. But as theaters have gotten more and more expensive, you can also understand why many people prefer catching the latest releases on their couch. Plus, Netflix's model has opened the doors for filmmakers who wouldn't have had a place at one of the big-budget mega studios. Ultimately, the battle has really only just begun. It's Netflix versus film traditionalists, and as for which side will win out in the end, well, only time will tell. I'm Evan Rook.